Hey, what's going on guys? I hope y'all are having an awesome day. I just got home from uh, being stuck in some pretty bad traffic at my school, to be honest. I mean, uh, as y'all know, I mean, y'all probably experienced this before I have, but uh, we're just now getting really bad weather recently. It's just been really, you know, raining. It's been kind of sleet, a little bit of ice going on. I was hoping it would snow or, you know, just get out of school or maybe even be late for school, you know, I mean... No one likes getting up early in the morning, doing all your stuff, and then, you know, going to school, and then it's just, it's a boring process, and I talked about it a little bit in my last commentary, and I know I've kind of been a little bit, uh, I guess, going more against and being a little bit hypocritical about it, but you honestly should, you know, try hard in school, but it's just so hard, I mean, to try and, I guess, try hard and enjoy school along with, uh, balance it with your regular day life and your social activities, it really is difficult, I mean, uh, you know, a lot of people you know they want to hang out with their friends and that's very understandable i'd much rather hang out with my friends or do something else other than being in school and i understand you know where everybody's coming from when they say you know they hate school or it's boring and you know i'm definitely with you on that i don't like it for the most part the only thing i do really like about it is whenever i do get the cool teachers and then when you know i get to hang out with my friends during lunchtime generally and uh maybe a little bit before class but they usually don't let you talk in class, and, you know, I can kind of get why, because they usually have to teach, and then, they, you know, you interrupt them, and they get mad and all that, and they're just doing their job, so, you know, I can respect that, but, man, uh, seven, eight hours, it's just not fun to be, you know, just sitting there being taught to from a bunch of different subjects that you may not enjoy, and, you know, I don't know, I mean, I, <laughs> if I figure out a way to get through it much easier, I mean, pretty much what I do is I just wing it, I just deal with it and try to make the best of it, I just try to not just get through it, but I try to look forward to what's going to be after I get out of school because that does definitely help me out whenever I'm in school. I look forward to um, what I'm going to come home to, maybe play some games or do whatever, you know, whether it be hanging out with my friends or just, you know, whatever. Just being out of school in general, that's what I look forward to, and that definitely helps that, uh, I guess, ease the pain, stress, whatever you want to call it when you're in school. And, it, you know, it is annoying, but it does help and uh, that was a suggestion i could throw in there if uh, any of you are still in school i'm sure there's a few people that are subscribed to me that are but uh you know i know i haven't been really again uploading them even every other day i've just been really occupied lately i know i've said this before i'll get back to it eventually especially after i'm uh, in my senior year i'll be uh, having much more free time on my hands to do um just a video usually probably every other day or you know every day who knows we'll see you know, that's a future I can't really predict it. I'm not a genie or anything like that. You know, I'm not in a lamp. I live in a house. Just saying, you know. One story, bro. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, just live in a house and... I don't know. Anyway, I can't predict the future. So, we'll see how my channel goes. I'm definitely going to try harder at it when I do get the spare time. But as of right now, I'm going to pretty much just try and do what I can. And I'm glad you guys understand that. And I see them down in the comments all the time. And I'm really happy to know that uh, my subscribers are really low, and they're like, you know, look, just upload when you can, and I can really respect that. And I'm, I'm really glad that you guys can as well. It's definitely uh, really fun to have subscribers that can do that. It definitely helps ease the stress that I have trying to keep my channel up and all that business. And all that, it's just great. And you guys are awesome, and I want to thank you again for just, you know, enjoying my videos. I know it kind of sounds weird to thank you for enjoying my videos, but it really, you know, it means a lot when you comment. When you even watch my videos, and I know I haven't been getting as much views as I used to lately, and I'm not complaining. I understand, you know, you guys are probably in school. Some people that haven't been in, uh, viewing them have probably just been busy as well. And, hey, I get it. You know, I'm in the same boat as you are, so definitely fine with that. Again, I'm not complaining. I've just noticed that, and I'm assuming it is something to do with, you know, what I'm doing. You know, I've just been busy. School started back up. That makes a lot of sense. It, do the math. It definitely makes logical sense. It's in that factor, you know, I want to go ahead and... Talk a little bit about this gameplay because I'm trying to mix it up a little bit in my commentaries. I, you know, you know, we'll kind of talk about the gameplay a little bit because people do like to hear it. So uh, this is actually a really older recorded gameplay. I had this recorded about almost a month ago, probably if not more. So we'll see. Uh, I don't exactly recall, but uh, you know, I'm rocking the MP7. I've been rocking a lot of guns in this gameplay. I've been getting my butt handed to me, as you can probably tell. But uh, you know, it happens. It's it's hard to get gameplay sometimes, but. Uh, like I said, it just happens. I'm trying, you know. I'm going to start playing this game a lot more when I, you know, get the time. I have another suggestion on how I could, uh, I guess, well, I'll talk about this, you know, in a minute. But, you know, uh, 
I could probably do some live commentaries for this game. I mean, I'm not really that high of a prestige, and I could uh, maybe do a road to prestige master or something. Who knows? That's probably a good idea because that'll definitely um, be much easier to get out videos because they'll be pre-recorded for the most part. If I record like a one to two hour session, I maybe once a week or so I'll have enough videos, you know, for you guys for pretty much, you know, about three or four days. So, you know, that's just a you know thought and mindset. You know, we'll see how it goes. I mean, you know, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I'm probably still going to do a live con just because I like doing them, and they're definitely easy on me, and I do like them. They're really fun. And you guys kind of get more of a in-depth view of how I play. You know, it's just, I don't know how to explain it. You guys got, you know, you can kind of watch my gameplay if you're kind of struggling in this game, and I know I'm not doing the best in this gameplay. This definitely doesn't really show it. But, uh... That'll kind of have something to do with what I want to talk about in a second. But, uh, guys, I want to let you guys see some beasting because I'm tired of getting my ass kicked. Excuse me. Uh, much, much, much better. That was way better than the first round of Domination and some Black Ops 2. And I believe the map is hijacked, but yeah, that was much better. I definitely needed to kick it in the next gear because I was just getting my ass handed to me. And you know, I excuse myself for the small cuss word. Look, guys, that's not really that bad of a word. And I know there's some younger viewers, but look, I'm, that was the first time I actually really said that word. And who really cares? If you guys don't want me to... I'll try not to, but, you know, I mean, it, it's whatever. Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, pretty much just, you know, coming back in a Black Ops 2 match. If, you know, you guys are uh, struggling, that was another thing I wanted to talk about, was just pretty much if you're struggling in a match, act as if you just started the match fresh again. That's what I really like about the Black Ops 2 domination settings because it is really cool because the way they did it now is, you know, they flipped your spawns and you start all over again, so it's pretty much like a fresh new match. You know, you kind of get a different mindset most of the time. If you know it's a pretty close game, as you can tell, it was a pretty you know close game. I mean, you know, each you know team was fighting for B on the flag or whatever. And, you know, it was a good game. I really enjoyed it, and it was really fun. And uh, you know, I always like these close games because they're really intense and they are fun to watch. And I understand it's not in league play, and it's not like MLG versus MLG or whatever. And you know, I don't I don't want to ever be a pro gamer just because I just that isn't for me. I mean, I, I like these close matches every once in a while. I like beasting every once in a while. And, you know, sometimes I'm okay with losing. I mean, everybody, you know, you have to lose eventually, and it just happens. And, I mean, I just want a little bit of everything because I don't want just one thing because it does get dull, very worn out, and it just gets boring after a while. That's why I kind of like uh, the fact that I think they try to change the matchmaking system a little bit here. And uh, if you notice right here, this Hellstorm missile, like, swerved and stuff. I think that was because I died, but... Who knows? Um, I'm pretty sure that is the reason because the Predator missiles did similar things back in the previous games. But anyway, I wanted to point that out. I was confused as heck when I was in the uh, actual game. I was like, why did this thing just do that? And the missiles went off to the side and stuff. But yeah, guys, make sure you're actually hiding somewhere really good when you call on your uh, kill streaks that you control because sometimes they may act silly. So just a pro tip of the day, guys. Just kidding, guys. I'm not going to be like that and be like, hey, guys, here's your MLG pro tip of the day here to get you so many more kills and. It only lasts for a match. <laughs> you know, I mean, let's be honest here. Try stuff that actually fits your play style, and that'll actually be your best advice you can probably have. How do you like to play? And then you can pretty much match your class setup doing that. I may put out some class setup videos just because I've always kind of liked to let people 
see what I use and maybe see if they can do better. I always like to see if someone can top, we you know, what I do. Of course, there already is people that do that, like Dying Soldier, Sandy Ravage, The Man in Black. You know, there's plenty of people that do the uh, 870 and they just rock it and just, you know, go to town, call in the swarm, do all that. I might try and get some gameplay later, but I haven't played this game in literally about two weeks now. It's been ridiculous. It feels like it's been two years since I played this game, but I'll have to start. I haven't even seen and been, in, you know, informed on all the stuff that's in it. So I guess we'll see what that's about, but um, guys, this gameplay is pretty much over. I did hope you enjoyed the commentary. If you did, you know, just uh, leave a comment, say, you know, anything, you know, positive if you want, or just put a comment down in general what you uh, wanted to get asked. If you want to ask a question as well, I'll be sure to answer that as soon as I get it. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next commentary. Objective parameters obtained. Well done.